morning. Your time is 730. I'm meteorologist Michael White. Hope you're having a very Merry Christmas. Want to keep you updated on what's happening with the weather. We're still expecting to see a significant severe weather event roll through the Gulf Coast later this morning into this afternoon and even carry over into tonight. And I know for a good chunk of the viewing area, you have already woken up and started your Christmas morning with very heavy rain and lots of lightning and thunder. But understand none of the storms we've seen so far this morning have gone severe. The wind gusts have been less than 58 miles an hour, and that's a good thing. But still, torrential downpours of rain, lots of lightning and thunder showing up. And as of right now, we've got about th just under 400 lightning strikes showing up with this. Well, cl moving closer to the Mobile Metro, and you can see the heaviest rain and storms northeast of the Mobile Metro around central Baldwin County. Places like Baymanette, right around US 31, dealing with over 120 strikes right now. Very nasty thunderstorm over you. Another one showing up around the I-10 corridor around Spanish Fort at Daphne, and we even have more storms showing up around the US 43 corridor north of Sarah Land, around Creola, Bucks, and also around Gulf Crest on US 45. We go farther inland places like a Green County around Leakesville dealing with heavy rain. Washington County and Chatham, you're getting a pounding of about 175 lightning strikes, a very nasty thunderstorm for you, and we have just minimal lightning showing up with a few showers developing around Santa Rosa County, north of US 98, north of Navarre, right around Broxton. So rain and storms are showing up for a good chunk of the viewing area, but you may be thinking to yourself, these are all moving to the north and east. Our severe weather threat has to almost be done for today. We've had no watches or warnings. Understand those showers have only been along the warm front. That just just basically means that our atmosphere is getting more unstable and more unsettled. So by the time the main line arrives, things are looking to be a lot worse around the viewing area. And to give you an indication of that, this is the severe weather parameters for today. If you watched the morning news yesterday or you saw uh, our evening newscast with Matt, you notice that every county shaded in yellow has a threat for severe weather. That's basically any county ahead of the cold front. That's a lot of counties. A lot of areas in the southeast have severe weather potential. The orange shaded color is the moderate risk. That's the more elevated risk and where the chance of those long track tornadoes, which means EF3 or higher, would be possible. And if you watched yesterday, that risk was only from about Baton Rouge to Hattiesburg and clipped maybe the northern tier of Green, Washington and Clark County in our viewing area. Now that risk includes 85% of our coverage region. Every single county on the Mississippi side, Jackson, George and Green, you're in that moderate risk. All of Washington County, all of Clark County, all of Monroe County, all of Conecuh County, all of Escambia County, Alabama, and just about all of Mobile County, with the exception of Dauphin Island, and just about all of Baldwin County, with the exception of Gulf Shores. And even parts of Escambia and Santa Rosa County on the Florida side are included in this, northwest of Pensacola and Milton. So this does mean that severe weather looking prominent. Now, right now, I'm going to show you a more expanded look at the satellite radar composite, and you can see for yourself kind of what we're expecting throughout the course of the day here. And our main time window of opportunity to see severe weather still looks to be from about 8 in the morning to around 10 o'clock at night. Here's the first round of storms that's rolled through. They're all tracking from southwest to northeast, but all of this is along the warm front. All this means is as this lifts northward, we're just seeing temperatures go up and humidity going up. That is basically not good for us. The upper level energy associated with this is still around Texas and Oklahoma. You see that big bowling ball, that big counterclockwise swirl of energy. That's the upper level low. And look at all the snow showers on the backside of this low. Very cold air will work its way into the Fox 10 viewing area eventually. We're not going to see any winter weather, but things will feel much more Christmas like as we hit tomorrow and carry over into the rest of the week. The cold front that we're expecting is right here, right around central Texas. That's why we think this is going to be an all day event. So before this thing arrives, We've got all this to deal with, and now that the warm front's lifted out, we're going to see the development of showers and storms over the Gulf tracking their way onshore at any given time today, from 8 o'clock this morning all the way until that cold front arrives, which won't really be till about 8, 9 o'clock in the evening. And the storm cells that develop out in the Gulf and track on shore can be tornadic now that we've seen the instability values rise and that warm front pass through. So this is still a significant event and the main time window of opportunity to see severe weather has not arrived, but we'll continue to keep you updated right here on Fox 10. 
as well as on Fox10TV.com. We'll have a crawl running at the bottom of your screen. Our Facebook page is constantly updated. Just make sure you have a way to get the warnings. Uh, IMAP Weather Radio and MyWarn are great apps for smartphones. We post all the warnings to our Facebook page and our website, so just make sure you have a way to get the warnings and that you stay in the know, because I know with this being Christmas morning, a lot of you are out of pocket. As you can see on the roadways, none of you are out there, and that's good. You don't need to be out there in this severe weather threat. Just have a way at home to get the warnings. That's what we care about. We'll keep you updated here on the television side and again all throughout our digital media, Fox10TV.com and our Facebook page. For now, I'm meteorologist Michael White. Hope you have a very Merry Christmas. We'll get through this thing and we will see that good looking weather return tomorrow. For now, we'll send you back to Sounds of the Season. Let's look at all these. There, there's clouds rotating, bubbling around back there. And there's, look back here. There we are, folks. Is that it then? Yeah, it looks like there's, there might be a very well tornado on the ground there. It's south, looking towards Brookley Field, looking down towards uh, DIP. If you're in those areas, you need to be in shelter. That is a tornado oh, yeah, on the it. ground. That is a tornado on the ground. There's a tornado. Significant one. Yeah, that is, that, is yeah. Mo that is mobile, folks. This is tornado. You can see debris flying as well. The oh, power flashes popping. off there, yeah. There is a tornado on the ground, folks. If you are listening to us, you are in Mobile County, you need to be in shelter at this point. South of Brooklyn Field, DIP, you need to be in shelter. There is a tornado on the ground. Oh, yeah. There. Transformers blowing up. There is debris flying. That is in Mobile County. Control room, stay with that on the Holiday Inn camera. Yeah, if you could, keep swinging around on it. Michael, I'm going to leave you for just a second. Okay. I'm going to let you talk over right. this. I want to go get some information right, on thank the, you, uh, Matt. Okay, now you are looking live off our Holiday Inn camera downtown Mobile. That is pointed towards the south. That is a tornado on the ground. This is a tornado Do you tornado have any idea exactly where that's pointed? Mobile pointing. Metro. The power flashes are transformers. Okay. That tornado is on the ground. You can see the power flash is constantly happening as that thing's moving uh, from west to east. Uh, it's on a northeastward track. Stay with that control room if you can. Uh, this is the real deal. This is a live shot off the Holiday Inn camera down to Mobile. That is a tornado. This is a tornado emergency for the Mobile Metro. Uh, yeah, this is a large wedge. Large, very large. This is uh, definitely a destructive tornado. That's midtown area, so this is moving through town, folks. This is moving right through town. If you're watching us here in Mobile, you need to be taking shelter here at this point. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, right now, uh, we're, we're staying with this as long as we can. Thank goodness we still have some sort of daylight left that we're able to capture this uh, on the camera so that you can see this. But uh, we're still looking off towards the south. And uh, I, I'm trying to, try, trying to place locations here as best I can here in the city. Uh, that, I, I believe... Well, we don't I, need to be worrying about right locations. There. If you're in Mobile right now, you need to be taking shelter. You let, look at that. There goes a huge transformer. Wow. This is right here in the city of Mobile, folks, going through look the Midtown that. area. This is a tornado, a wedge tornado on the ground in the Midtown area. So please, please be taking shelter right now. This is in our viewing area, meteorologist Michael White, meteorologist Chastity Bird, I am meteorologist Matt Barenton. We are all here. We are watching this for you. It is moving through Mobile. If you live in Mobile, you need to be taking shelter. We've been watching this one for a while. We saw it form around Theodore. It got hard to pick out for a little while. Yeah. It was going through a transformation. Well, I mean, even you can even see the tight. You can actually see the the hook on the velocity product on our radar. Yeah, there's. I mean, that is textbook 101 on that. Yeah, we're looking at a, a very dangerous situation, folks. The main thing you need to know, there has been a wedge tornado. It's on the ground in the city of Mobile. You need to be in shelter. Concern. There you can see the Baldwin County tornado warning that goes until 6. I do believe that's an extension of the Mobile County uh, cell that we are tracking through Mobile County going into Mo uh, Baldwin County. It is, Chastity. And the good news is, uh, you know, as you and Matt were just saying, that cell that we captured the tornado on our camera, it has gotten much weaker since it has moved into parts of uh, Baldwin County. Even the precipitation itself uh, looks a lot weaker. And as we sweep over trying to find a, a sign of rotation, we're just not not finding one it in what was left of the mobile tornado but that thing was moving so fast to the northeast at 45 miles an hour uh, if it was moving slower of course that would have been much worse for the mobile metro and right now we're still on the uh, hunt for uh, reports of damage around That's the city. But we are getting very good uh, rotation signatures, Chastity, right around Washington County and Greene County. All these areas, 
that you see on your screen. If your city is listed or if you're right outside of one of these cities, you need to be in your safe place. You can see how fast they're moving. St. Stephen's near 546 and then already towards the Leroy area as we move in towards 549. Michael? Yeah, and I would say right now, Chastity, of all the tornado warnings we have on the board, that's the one that's producing the, uh, the strongest signature. Uh, now, I will emphasize again, just because we're getting the signature on radar doesn't necessarily mean one is on the ground. Of course, we've had one confirmed, obviously, because we saw it uh, move through downtown Mobile on our uh, on our holiday in camera. But we when we see these velocity couplets that you're looking at right here where these green and red colors lock, uh, that's just a huge sign of rotation. That means rotation is happening uh, within the storm itself. Whether or not it's actually on the ground still remains to be seen. But those of you, uh, let's pull back just a little bit. Those of you to the east of Chatham in Washington County and uh, places like uh, St. Stephen's, uh, Ellsville, if you saw what we saw on our holiday in camera, don't take any chances with anything like this. You need to be in your safe place right away because this uh, this entire situation is just extremely dangerous when we get signatures this strong. And uh, typically they can be difficult to find, but uh, uh, Chastity, this one and the one we saw in the Mobile Metro, uh, pretty obvious on radar where it's located. That's right. Yeah. Here again is a look at that cell. Michael, you can give a little bit of information about it. Uh, yeah, th th thanks, Chas. I was just wanting to point out that uh, it uh, our radar is uh, estimating that its speed is moving northeast at 46 miles per hour very fast probability currently at 40 percent like you just said the locations Deer Park uh, that dealt with the tornado last year Escatapa Fruitdale and this is a very strong signature and there's a couple of things uh, and Chastity just went over this uh, that you need to make sure you you keep in mind when we track a tornado like this. Uh, if we if we show you the entire view of the home page and we go ahead and turn off that uh, circulation and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch uh, the reflectivity to complete velocity and you'll see the greens and reds. The winds are coming in out of the south and west and the green colors they blow toward the radar site. The red colors blow away from the radar site. We look for those two to be connected and that's why we we end up seeing the tight center of circulation uh, inside these thunderstorms and that's essentially what we look for. So whenever we zoom in close to an area like Leakesville and we see this red skit, which is a tornado vortex signature, and then we look inside our scope for a velocity product and we see that where the greens and reds are connected, that gives meteorologists, including myself, Matt and Chastity, an indicator that a tornado possibly is on the ground. And when we had that coverage of the tornado moving through downtown Mobile, the signature was even stronger uh, than the one it is right there, Chastity.